Hi guys, it's me Jace and I'm back with another tutorial and this time I am back with another hook only design. Yay! Ta -ta -ta -ta. Okay, so we have a design once again given to us by Rainbow Loom SG. Better known to other people as Lene. Okay, so this is going to be I think the third design that I'm picturing from her and I'm sure that you all like her designs and you will see that she posts really good stuff very very well made bracelets fantastic color combinations and again one of our favorites so rainbow loom sg please give her a follow and her bracelet is called the knotted edge bracelet very nice I like it a lot actually there so this is supposed to be the signature side okay actually like it and this is the other side which I also like so to be honest I think both look really good so it really depends on your trip <laughs> so whatever it is that your whatever your style is then you can wear it however you wish so this is the knotted edge bracelet and I will teach you now how to do it and surprisingly it is quite easy to do it although I have to warn you that it does take quite some time and patience okay so this is a full wrap um, that I made that um, I think this is about 24 um, 24 bands those because there's a single chain in the middle it's just really a single chain and you add borders it's that simple so I will show you how it works um, the full wrap will take you about 24 bands but for what we'll be doing today I will just be doing around 10 so that it will be faster to teach you okay so the first thing that we will do is we have to create the chain and I think most of you are familiar but for the beginners sake we will do the single chain and I will teach you how to do it by the first band which you will put on your hook and create a cap band on it okay and then you get your next band and then you just slide the cap band on it then put it back on your hook that simple then you get your next band then put that put those bands on the next band and then slide it on your hook again and you will just have to keep doing it until you achieve the right length that you want to fit around your wrist so there see just keep doing that until you create your chain <coughs> so keep doing that okay so I'm sure that most of you are already used to this I'm gonna go fast because this is gonna be easy so we will be doing that and we'll probably create like a dozen of this so that we have just the right amount to be able to demonstrate a good deal so there see you can easily follow that I'm sure okay you just keep doing that so I guess yeah so there so that's what you will be doing for the main part of the bracelet you just keep doing that and then if you don't have a second hook that you can transfer these to you can just get a c-clip and temporarily just lock it for the meantime just so that it does not fall off okay so you remove it from your hook okay and then you just put it on the c-clip for the meantime okay so there <coughs> sorry I have still have a bit of a cold okay so now that you have the chain oops sorry it's a bit twisted you just adjust this so it stops pulling onto the chain when the bands are twisted sometimes they keep pulling the wrong direction so there another one here that is twisted and just fix that okay so you've got your chain okay now we will go and do the borders part so if you look here you have your oh sorry here you will see that you have your slip knots here on this part and that's what we will be doing so all you have to do so that you know where to insert the, the the bands is that this cap band 
should be facing you not horizontally well or i don't know how to say it <laughs> anyway it should be straight so it's th this cap band it should be straight like that okay because what will happen is that you will get your hook and you will insert it from the behind from behind see okay you can also make it sideways if it's sideways like that then you put your hook there in the middle okay and then you get your second color for me it's going to be the blue the white here and you just put it on your hook and then you slide your chain on it and then you put it back on the hook and then you slip you unhook unloop the other side to create the slip knot see let's do it again for the second one oops there okay so you go in between your cap in between your chain and then sorry <laughs> and then you slip off your chain and then put back the blue and then you unloop the second band to create the slip knot Ta-da! okay so we'll continue until the next one just keep doing that all the way up to the end of your chain so here another one then you just slip it off then you unloop the second band to create the slip knot very easy right i'm sure even kids are gonna get this and what's nice is that it's simple that it looks really cool so there just keep doing that then create the slip knot see it's very easy just make sure you don't miss any of your chains so that you won't have a hard time later okay so just do that Keep doing that until you go to the next chain. And then just keep doing that. <laughs> so weird. I am so weird. Okay, there. See? So you just keep going up. Do we take a break or not? Or do I just continue doing this and bore you to death? <laughs> Maybe that's something fun. You're gonna go, oh my god, he's going on forever, it's taking too long. Okay, so I'll just keep doing this. There. Maybe you can just wait, since it's just about five more. So, that's not so bad. So just keep doing that, keep doing those slip notes. Okay. Then the next one. Okay, we're almost there! Three more! Yay! So, almost there. Three more. Two more. See? We are so good. Yay! Two more! Second to the last! Oops. My band is running away. There. And then we go to the last one come here band okay so you still put on the last one so that is the last of the chain you just lock that slip knot there see so you've got slip knots now on all of the sides you will repeat that on the other side as well but just so that we can start looping the side bands and you can appreciate the design we will start so how do you loop all you have to do is to remember very very simple steps okay you go into this first one or sorry from the front you go into the first one like that first one and then grab the one on top and then pull it in and then just turn outwards grab the next one on top reel that in and then turn upwards grab the next one so it's very easy see 
turn upwards, then grab the next one. Reel it in, turn upwards, then grab the next one. Reel it in. There. In, turn upwards, then get the next one. Keep. It's okay, won't fly away. Then grab that next one. Bring it in. Turn upwards. Oops. Zare. Okay, there. Go up. Bring it in. Turn outwards. Go up. Bring it in. Upwards. So I'm sure by now you're getting this already. Oh my god, I'm sniffing like crazy. I have runny nose, I'm sorry. And then you just bring it up. Sorry if my fan is really strong. It feels great to have a fan. Just keep going up. Loop it in. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Loop it in. And the last one. Go up. Loop it in. And for the last one, all you have to do is just put it on your C-clip. See? Just get that last one and put it on your c-clip ta-da and you've got the sides done whoopee okay we will now go do the other side so since you've already done the other side you're now going to start with the other side and so you do the same thing you go in here and then you just get that blue band and then you just slip out the pink and then put it back on your hook and then release the other in one inside and then pull it outwards there see very easy I'm having a hard time maneuvering because I'm left-handed so <laughs> this is like an effort of the century for me so there and then you just slip the blue on top and create that slip knot then you go to the next one Okay, hook that there. Let's see how. Then you just go, ooh, there. And then you go up. And then you just create that slip knot. Chajan! Wow, that's a new thing. Okay, so you just put it on your hook, pull it in, and then pull it over there. And then you just put it in again and it's a slip knot again put your next band pull it in get the other one and pull it through Ta -da! there the next one pull it in pull the other one and pull through to then get the next one again pull through pull it through again and there you go and there you go Ooh, I did not take any break today this is non-stop recording very very good oops wait it's twisted hold on Yeep. there you go okay now you go get that then you just keep going just keep pulling it in and then just go in there get that the last four yay then you pull that in pull it back and you've got it and the last three, here we put it there. And just you can actually do it this way. Ta-da! Very fast. Two more. It's done. Almost done. Oh my gosh! My gosh! My gosh! Okay. Yay! And last one. Oh my god! I'm so happy. Yay! This is so cool. This is very easy to film. 
So I'm very happy. And now my colors are better because the first time I filmed it, it was horrible looking. So, the next step is to do the same thing we did at the other side, to the other side. So you go into your slip knots, you go up and pull through the one next, then you turn out, get the next one, pull it through, <coughs> turn out, get the next one, pull it through, turn out, get the next one, pull it through, turn out, get the next one, pull it through, Ugh. get the next one, pull it through, turn out, get the next one, pull it through, turn out, the next one, pull it through, turn out, it's actually super fast, see? Ta da ding, da ding. Oops, there. And then you get the next one. The next one. And the next one. There you go. So, what have you got? There is your knotted edge bracelet. Okay? Now, if you are feeling that it looks weird, if you feel that it looks weird, yeah, it does. What, what you do is you adjust. On your slip knots, you can pull it a bit. That's what I did. So you pull it out a bit to give it a bit more movement. And it will adjust when you pull on it. And it will loosen underneath and get more you know get more material in there so when you keep tugging then it balances it off so you just keep doing that you pull on those slip knots and then they will start to adjust nicely and then you can start pulling it away a bit and then you see now has a shape this might be nice also on the le bands so you guys might want to try it so there see i actually think that it looks very pretty see very nice and here's the other one okay the other side so you can see both sides there you go so there you go guys the super fun and easy to make knotted edge bracelet this is this this was designed by rainbow loom sg and so please give her a follow rainbow loom sg on instagram and when you make the bracelets please don't forget to hashtag jace alvarez knotted edge bracelet and rainbow loom sg when you make your renditions because we'd love to see them okay so if you have any comments or any other suggestions please do comment in the box below and like the video so people will see it so i'll need to see you in my next tutorial bye